Today we're going to make side handles rather than the tall handles, either with wood or with reed, but we're gonna make a side handle. This is a casserole basket and one that we use a side handle in. Um, every basket, of course, is gonna have different numbers on the side and how many you tuck in and all that, but this is the basic idea of what you need to do. So I've got my rows on for my casserole basket that I need. And this is the side I'm gonna work with. I've already gone ahead and made sure all my rows were as tight as they can possibly be. And I've marked the center ones. I think I marked too many. About well, four of them. <laughs> so I've marked my four center ones. The ones that are on the outside, the spokes are on the outside, are gonna get bent in right at the top of that row and eventually cut and tucked in. And these that are on the inside are going to get cut off right at the top. So I'll go ahead and do those. Maybe a little hard to do that. So cut those right level with the top. Of course, I have way more than I need here for tucking in, so I'm gonna have to cut them short enough that they'll go in that, that bottom row. Go ahead and cut them off. So these two that I've cut, cut and cut are gonna go under this bottom row of weavers. Just gonna use an awl or a fit or whatever you need to tuck them in. You wanna make sure that, especially the ones you're tucking, that they're, they're good and wet. I neglected to say that I did that. So then you can see where the opening for the handle is going to be. I'm gonna to go to the other side, make sure all my rows are tucked down as far as it can go. I've got the middle ones, and for this basket it's four, but I've got the middle ones marked off. The ones that are on the outside of the spoke, uh, the spoke on the top, the, the row at the top, are gonna to be bent over. And I do that first, and then it helps me to know which ones, which ones I need to cut. And then the ones that are left, I'm gonna cut them right level with the top. So here's the two I need to bend. I'm going to take off what I, the extra that I don't need to tuck them in. And then they're going to tuck in to the bottom row. And you can see the handle of that one starting to come in. Now with all the other rows, you just kind of start at one spot and you weave the whole way around. And then when you get to the end, you do your start and stop. Well, with this one, it's slightly different because we have to keep that opening open. So what's going to happen here? My next thing to do is color. So what happens here? I'll do my best to show this to you. We can't go across. So we have to start at one open end and go around the basket to the other open end and then do the other side. So it's gotta be a little bit different. So what I do is I look to see the pattern from the row before. Since this one is on top, I know that this one has to be behind. And when it tucks, it's gonna go behind here. Sometimes it comes to the front, depending on how it comes out. If it's, if it's behind, this one is gonna to come to the front, but it has to be long enough so that when you bend it back, it'll tuck into this, this one here at the corner. So when I bend it back, I don't, I don't wanna make a real sharp, I can see that's not quite big enough. I push a little more. And if I have to cut some off, I too, I'd rather be too long. And then what you do is it just kind of goes right behind what's already there. So it actually hides. So if I can show you, you can kind of see where, where, where the overlap was. Let me see if I can get that up for you a little bit better. You can kind of see where the overlap was and it's tucking behind that third one. So now I'm ready to weave across to the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep my, I'm gonna keep my sides my side straight, my two corner pieces straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my clothespin in as I go around to keep those corner ones not pulling, pushing down as I go. 
and I'm going to weave across here, pushing down my sides as I go. Over, under, over, and you can straighten your spokes as you go. And then when you get back to the other side, you finish. Oops. My clothespin in here, or my little thingy. Okay. Now, you can see I have it. It's on top, so I have to go back around again. So I'm going to make it long enough that it will go back behind right on top of here and tuck behind this third one. So I'm gonna cut it just a hair shorter than that. So I go a little bit longer. I'm gonna come behind this one and I'm gonna tuck it. Right, just a little too short, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck it behind that one. Okay, and it finishes. So then what I do is I go to the other side. Now, if you look here, this one is, is behind. So I know that one has to be on top. So I'm gonna go on top. I'm gonna do the alternate to start. So now since this is behind, it's gonna be bending and going to the front. And then for a while, you're gonna have two that look the same. It'll happen on both sides at some point. So don't panic when you go, oh no, it's over, over. It's supposed to do that. So I'm gonna pull this back a bit because it's a little longer than I need. But this one is now gonna to come to the front, cross over those two and tuck behind that one. I'm gonna pull it just a little bit more, just a, bit, a little bit more of the reed. You can always cut it off if it's too much. I'd rather have too much and not enough. And we tuck it behind, get in there really good. And then you just weave across, push your rows down. They tend to, as you're messing with the, the basket, they tend to come up sometimes. Just do your alternate weaving. And then when you get back to your corner, So you're going to go ahead and finish like it would normally go and you're on behind so this one's going to come back this way and, tie and go across here so there's your over on this side you don't have it here you head on the other side so you're going to go over so it looks like you're going to do an over over it actually looks like three right now but you're going to cut that a little bit shorter and you're going to literally lay it right on top of what you just did and then tuck it behind so you can see on this side where we started on the side, it was on top, so um, it, it's gonna not gonna, it's gonna look normal. But when you have to go from the back and come around, it's gonna be two on the front. So you see the two on the front here, not here. But on the other side, oh, that one popped out. But on the other side, this one is the two over, and this one is not. So then when you go to do the next row, which is a half inch, you're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna feel for the good side. Okay. Now, since this, since this is over over here, it's kind of hard to tell. So I kind of look at this one. So I know because that's an over, I mean under, over, and so on, I'm gonna make this one be an over. Okay. So it's gonna go, since it's on top, it's gonna to fold to the back and go behind this one. And I'm going to weave across. Remember to kind of push your sides up, straighten your spokes as you go. That's what that's the thing you want to do right before you're going to finish it. Um, you get to the side. Go ahead and finish it off so you can see here. Okay, and I want to make it come back, and it's going to tuck behind this one right here. So I've got to I'm going to kind of eyeball that one. right on top of what you've already done. Tuck it by then to hide it. And then the other way. So this one's gonna be the one that's gonna be a double. So here now you have the alternating, even though I had a double here. So this one, I'm looking here, this is on top. Got 
the wrong side. Okay. So since it's coming from behind, I'm gonna have to go over two in a bit. It's a little bit too long. And it's gonna go behind this one. And tuck it behind. So now, because of that, you have the double, the double over. It's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. And you have the wrong side out for just a tiny bit. So you might see some hairs. You can cut them off later. It's not a big deal. And you're going to continue weaving around. Until you get to the other side. See, we're coming behind again. I'm going to straighten my spokes. So I'm going to have to come to the front. Cut it just a hair shorter than this one. And then it will tuck behind. Okay. So this one is ready to go. Now, when I go, the next thing I have to do, um, I'm going to do another row of color. And then whenever it asks for the rim row, which would be the 3 8 row that we put on finally, um, you're going to weave it like you normally do. You're going to pretend like that's not even there, and you're going to go straight across to the other side and just over and under, over and under, because the rim will go over that, and you'll fasten it like it's one piece. This is just for the weaving for the handle. 